Have you ever gone into your wardrobe full of stuff, right? Full racks on racks on racks of clothing that probably cost racks on racks on racks and said to yourself, I got nothing to wear. I got nothing to wear. I got a closet full of clothes and I got nothing to wear. This video is for you. I run a clothing business and yet I don't have a very expansive wardrobe. I tend to be the, a purger more so than a collector. Because again, I just I consistently don't want to wear my clothes, and so then I go through these seasons of binging and then purging and binging and purging. Trigger warning, I guess I should say, only in my wardrobe, only in my wardrobe. But then you get this hodgepodge wardrobe, and you're like, what is even in here? What do we do with this? What do we do with this information? So I was thinking the other day. Let's build a winter capsule wardrobe with things I already have in my closet. And hopefully in doing so, I'm going to give some tips on how anybody watching this video can also create a capsule wardrobe. I might repeat this each season, who knows, but we're going to go through my closet together and do this live. The only thing I planned out was how many of each pieces I'm gonna do. There are a lot of right ways to do this. The internet has a million different ways you can put together a capsule wardrobe, but for me, it's the four by four. So it's like four shirts of the same color, four, or I'm sorry, uh, four pieces of one color, neutral, four pieces of another color, neutral, four different tops that add pattern, dimension, things like that. And then four other kind of statementy pieces that can fill in gaps. Like for example, dresses, belts, things like that. And then of course a standard number of accessories. So I'm going to be using my iPad as a way to keep notes and this chicken nugget's gonna be with me the whole time. So I know I look like this. I'm a stay at home mom, work from home mom. I don't know what to tell you. We'll look cute for the outfit reveals, but at least for the shopping process, what you get is what you got. <laughs> so I will see you shortly in my closet. Welcome to my closet. It's not aesthetic, and it's actually quite small and cramped. So, here is your reminder that I am a real person, and I have exactly one half of a hand to do this with. So, on my iPad right here, I have my handy dandy notebook, AKA somewhere in here, I have a list. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, here's the skinny. Okay, we've got two black shirts, two black bottom pieces, two white tops, two pairs of jeans, four tops so we can mix and match, and just top pieces. These can be blazers and stuff too. Four more pieces to fill in any gaps, four pairs of shoes, two bags, and you know what? I'm gonna throw in a curveball here and also say two coats, because it's winter. And in winter, I view coats as accessories, not part of the actual outfit. It just enhances things. All right, so let's start by going in black shirts. Also, side note, I should mention, I saw this thing on TikTok the other day. Don't know if it's real or not. I completely forgot how to do like odds and statistics and things like that, but I heard somebody say if you have 12 articles of like clothing, that you can make 72 outfits out of them, which in that case, if that's true, that's enough to get you literally an entire season's worth of outfits because we encourage outfit repeating here, so that's assuming some will be repeated. So, seeing here I have two, four, six, eight, 12, 16, 20, 22, 24, if you include the two coats, items in here. That's literally enough pieces to get you through the next three months. So honestly, that's an interesting challenge. What if, hear me out, what if I only wear outfits from this capsule wardrobe for the next three months? That's an idea. That's an idea, okay. Let's get two black shirts. Let's do this. So I have, hi, this old thing 
that's cashmere. It's a great layering piece, so I'm a big fan of this. It's also, also vintage Bloomingdale's. So, love a vintage find. Okay, there's one out of two. Let's find the second one. I think I know what I'm gonna Okay, and my second piece, there's this local place called Cargo Largo, which basically their business model is if you order something via freight and you actually don't wanna accept it, the order, but then where you bought it from won't take the return and it's just stuck in limbo, they buy it. So it's kind of like a thrift store, but kind of not. But it's not traditional retail. I don't really know what on earth you'd call it. There's probably a name for it, but I just don't know. But anyway, I found this blouse there maybe two years ago. It was definitely pre-Rona, but it's a little Everlane number. So I'm gonna add that. I think the short sleeves are promising too because we love to build in layers. Okay, that is our two black tops. Now we gotta get two pairs of black pants. I think I know what I want already. Like, if they're even in here. These, I know they're technically jeans, but they're loose, they're comfy, easy peasy. They are Eddie Bauer, probably 90s. Let me try to get the camera to focus on that. Can you please try to not throw up right now? It's super gross. Okay, one pair of black pants. I already know what I want for the second pair. BRB, these aren't actually in my closet. Okay, so these weren't actually in my closet. They were on the floor in my hallway because my life is a mess because exhibit A. Um, but they're kind of, they're like a straight boot cut somewhere in the middle there. But I would say probably a Y2K Lauren Ralph Lauren, so green label, Lauren Jeans Co. Here's the tag for y'all. There's that, cool, so okay, those are our four black pieces. Okay, we need to find two white tops in here now. Thankfully I'm the queen of the white blouse, so. Okay, this one is not in here either, because my life's a mess, okay. All right, um, this was technically on the floor in the corner of my room. Don't ask me why, <laughs> but it was. It's clean, it's fine, it's just wrinkled. It needs a good steam, but we got a steamer for that, so it's a-okay. But this, I also got it. I got this from the same place that I got that Everlane top. It's COS, C-O-S. And if you didn't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that brand is owned by the same company that owns H&M. It's just like a higher end sustainable option. What even is sustainable fashion if it's new anyway though? So. Anyway, I love this thing. It's billowy, it's got a button down. Got some good sleeves on it. Okay, so there's one white top. And for our second white top, we're gonna go with this bodysuit. I wear this thing nonstop. I like that it's a thong back because I don't want panty lines. Scoop neck, a little bit of a low back, so in case you're feeling sassy, great layering piece. So one of my pairs of jeans, it's gonna be these vintage 90s Levi's 550s. These were also on the floor in the corner of my room, but they're wrinkled, but they're nice, they're tapered, they're the right length. Pretty high-waisted, not pretty high-waisted, like a normal high-waist, but I love these. So these are gonna go on the rack. And you know what, I'm gonna go with a medium wash jean. Okay, and next up we've got these, I love the wash on these, but they're another pair of Levi's. And these are also 550s. So, a little bit darker of a wash, great fit. A little tighter on the waist right now, but not so tight that I can't wear them, so. Oh, thank you. Okay, those are our two pairs of jeans. We need four top pieces, oh, thank you. Okay, so now we just need like four top layers that we can mix and match with things. So, the first thing I want is my tried and true, this 90s Liz Claiborne silk striped blouse. I love her. I never really shop for myself. And I, this is one of my favorite recent purchases that I've made, huge fan, love this top. Okay, there's that one. Um, I think we should add 
like a fun layer. Oh no, I want this. Um, this was my grandmother's. It's one of my favorite pieces in my closet too. And it's another silk blouse because we love silk blouses, but it has these really fun purple patches on the sleeve. Here's the brand. But I love this blouse. So she's going on the rack. Okay, I think we need, ow, oh, hit my elbow. We need some color. I, and we also need, uh, yeah, we need, we need some color. We'll start there. So, <laughs> again, super wrinkly, so we'll steam it, but I've got this great, it's kind of metallic. The camera's not showing the right color. It's not this red in person, but it's this rusty red, again, silk blouse. I'm a sucker for a silk blouse, but this is gonna go in the mix. And lastly, I think it might, might be in the dryer, but I need my good American bodysuit, so we're just gonna pretend that's on the rack. I'll put that on there in a minute. <laughs> so that's our four mix and match pieces. So now I need to fill in some gaps. We need four more pieces. I'm thinking at least two blazers, at least two blazers. The first one has to be this guy. I wear this blazer constantly. It is one of my favorites. I thrifted this from my beloved Do Good when they had their yard sale over the summer. And I don't know if it's picking it up on camera. Thank you, Beckett, for kicking it. But it's got these great yellow details in here. And it's stunning, but it's also neutral. And so it goes with every color. So that's going on the rack. Okay, that's one top piece. We need three more fill in the gaps. I think I want this leather jacket. I maybe have worn this one time. I got this on eBay secondhand a while ago for like $50. It's theory, so it's contemporary, but it's so good and it's real leather. I love the asymmetrical zip. It's edgy without being too buckly because I love the buckle look, but it's not, the, it's not my style. So this is gonna go on the rack. Okay, two, we need two more pieces. I'm thinking we need, I'm thinking we need a dress. We need a dress. Okay, so hear me out. I don't know which one to do, because I have this same, it's a slip dress with a little bit of a cowl neck, but I have it in black and white. I think I'm just gonna add them both. Yeah, I'll add them both. Okay, yeah, we're doing that. Four shoes, so. One pair of shoes, hands down, without a question. My shoots. I am obsessed with these boots. They dip down in the front, stiletto heel. These are going on the rack. Second, um, the second pair of shoes I'm gonna do, I found these when I was out thrifting a couple months ago. I was gonna put them in the shop, but every time I put them on, I was like, these are really good. So they're a vintage pair of Cole Haan woven tassel loafers. Oh, thank you. Um, so here's a little close up on them. They're so good. And I think that they go perfectly with honestly everything on this rack. So this is my other pair going there. My third pair of shoes I wanna do on here I also just got these, I had a gift card to Nordstrom, so I went to Nordstrom. But I have these Sam Edelman white boots, which I love, they've got the square toe, which feels so current. It has this gorgeous tan snakeskin stripe and heel, and I love that it's both thick and narrow. So, number three. The fourth pair we're gonna do are my clunky Doc Martens. Those are downstairs. So just like with the bodysuit, we'll add the Doc Martens to it in a minute. I'm also gonna go through and show some mixing and matching to provide some ideas to both you guys and to myself. But hopefully that, hi. Mwah. Hopefully me going through my wardrobe and picking out things that I really love that are easy to mix and match. It's also showing you how you can do this in your own wardrobe as well. 
but one of my bags is hands down going to be I got this when I was in Dallas a year ago I went down it was like a baby moon but not it was just a girls trip uh, me and one of my girlfriends went down to visit another one of our girlfriends stayed with her for a few days and we went to oh thank you we found this vintage consignment shop that had all of these really incredible designer things this I don't know who made it but it's in stunning condition it's this brown snakeskin pouch and it looks small but this thing holds so freaking much so this is absolutely going on the list and then for my second bag this guy honestly I thrifted this for like three dollars I don't know who made it oh no I'm just kidding there's a tag right here this is who made it looks like it could be 90s but it's this soft leopard print oh thank you for hitting my boob that's so nice of you <laughs> Me too. found this guy anyway so she's going on the rack hi Thank you. All right, yeah, so looking at our list, we've got two black shirts, two black pants, two white tops, two pairs of jeans, four mix and match pieces, four more pieces to fill in the gaps. I'm still not sold on the two slip dresses. I may swap one of them out for something else, but TBD, TBD, right? This doesn't have to be set in stone. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. We're going with the flow here, right? Right? Right. We've got four pairs of shoes. And we've got two bags, so I'm gonna show you the wrap really quick. Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna show you the rack really quickly, and then um, after he goes down in a couple hours, I will film it downstairs with all the good lighting. Thank you. And I'll put together some outfits, and I'll share how to mix and match all these awesome pieces, so that way you can hopefully get some great takeaways from this. So, see you in a little bit. I've already swapped out one of the slip dresses for something else instead. I took the black one off the rack and in favor of the white one, I figured the white top can go with... I just like the idea of it contrasting with the black pants a lot better, whereas the black would have been a monochromatic and we have enough monochromatic already available on this rack. So I'm going to do a quick pan of the rack and then I'll see you guys in a couple hours so we can go through some outfits. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm back. I have french fries this time. I stay hungry. Down here, put a little bit of makeup on, brushed my hair, it's a Christmas miracle, and got my capsule wardrobe down here. It's looking woefully small. I'm a little nervous about this, but the internet says it's possible, so it must be true. So we're gonna shove some more french fries in my mouth, and then we're gonna do I don't know how many outfits, we're gonna do some outfits and make it a TikTok to go along with this because I'm spicy, I'm cool, I'm like a millennial. I'm not, I'm full on millennial, but a girl can dream, right? So I'm just gonna kinda whirl through these outfits. I don't see the point of sitting here and riffing at the camera unless it's especially good for any specific reason. I did swap out the black sweat, uh, blah, 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 black, satin slip dress in favor of this hardcore sweater coat that I have by Lauren Manoogian. It's just cozy. A lot of these aren't necessarily layers that I want to wear around my kid because he still is spinning up quite a bit, but these are, these are a lot of solid pieces that I would wear as an adult being an adult, which is cool. So on that note, Let's get dressed. I didn't steam a thing. I can do that later. You get the idea. Well, well, these are the leather pants. I said I'd wear them. If I wasn't, time to show off my beach. 
On to number three. Look at number three. These jeans are a little bit too tight, but I'm still dropping my pregnancy weight. I say that as I eat a bowl of french fries for dinner after having pizza rolls for lunch, but big picture, y'all. Today is just an indulgent day because I'm getting ready to lead soon. So, but yeah, toxically, I bought these while pregnant as my gold jeans. They were $5, and I've been looking for a pair just like them, so I bought them. And here I am, wearing them. So, here's my Grammy shirt, peep the details. Thank you, I get compliments on this nonstop. Somebody tried to buy this off me once, I said, no. Nah. On to look number four. Look, a bag where I may keep my fries. Uh -huh. No, I'm just kidding. But this will be a really cute date night look. Definitely need a little bit of Spanx underneath, but because satin just kind of shows all. But look how gorgeous this is. And it has pockets. Got my awesome boots. Mmm, mmm. Feeling good in this. And yeah, this thing honestly would fit my whole life. There's nothing in it right now because I'm just trying on clothes. But it fits everything. I could, I could almost fit my baby in here. Well, when he was born anyway. <laughs> He's far too large now. But yeah, I think this is look number four. So on to the next one. This one's a little funkier. I mixed some patterns by putting the striped shirt underneath the plaid blazer. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to keep it minimal on the bottom and then with some clunky Doc Martens because I literally wear these with everything anyway. I just think they're fun and different and like badass. So I think this is look number five. On to the next one. And the 90s queen in this look. Rolled jeans, got the loafs, got the silk. Yeah. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Coming to get her. Yeah, pretty cute. I think this is look number six, so let's make a seventh outfit. I don't know what number this is, but leather pants, low back, a cutie bag. It's like that TikTok audio that, what is it? It's a bad bitch. Okay, I'm done embarrassing myself with this outfit. Next one. She's giving Parisian with the loafers and little cashmere like, Mm, I'm cold, but I'm not cold enough to wear my sweater. I'm just cold enough to, to drape it. I'm just, yes, honey. Honestly, this whole capsule is giving me like Parisian minimalism meets bad bitch edge. We're here for that. Also, if you hear gun sounds in the back, my husband's watching a war documentary. All is well in this household. Again, picture these with the new balances, not with these nerdy old crusty ass things. But white sneak, white jeans, white shirt, pouch. She's effortless. Okay. I don't know what number look we're on. We've had a few more though, at least three or four more. So let's do this. These boots, with these jeans, it's giving me big Princess Diana vibes, just like add ball cap. Obviously, this is another dressy look, like if I was gonna go grab a drink with friends or something like that, but I feel like a million bucks. Cash me outside. Yeah. Hey. A little thin. Well. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. mixing brown and black. You either love it or you hate it. I personally really like it. Put the docks on the bottom for form and function. A 
probably just run around in this one. I did do a meeting in this one. Easy peasy. At this point, I'm trying to combine things that I wouldn't have thought to otherwise. Um, trying to mix and match. Because that's the point. We're supposed to come up with a lot of outfits doing this. We're charging forward. We're doing it. Thanks for still being here. It's getting hard. Um, starting to run out of ideas that aren't just your basic shirt and pants, shirt and pants, shirt and pants. So, yeah, I definitely have a couple things I'm going to swap out in favor of some other pieces, and I'll share a little bit more of that insight in the outro. Um, but yeah, it also doesn't help that I refused to steam the red blouse, and so that inherently is limiting my options. It's fine. It's fine. For the sake of the video, it's fine. But here we've got Easy Breezy. This is just a polyester satin slip dress, nothing crazy. He did get lipstick on it. Way to go. But comfy, cozy. Got the, the loafs on. Outfit number on team. Day two. 7.30 p.m. Bubby is going down for the night. Daddy's got him. Love that. Yeah, I've got a few more outfits to plan out. I I made some switches. I didn't use that leather jacket yesterday at all. Surprised? Me too. So instead, I brought down a bodysuit. No, I did bring the bodysuit in, but I brought down a jumpsuit. So exciting. It's Norma Kamali. Love her. Soft as butter. Looks great. Dressed up, dressed down, dressed sideways. Dress left, dress right, you name it. So, we're just gonna kick back into this. I'm gonna have to redo my TikTok at the end because I messed it up yesterday. I feel like if TikTok has a sound that's a certain length, when you go to use said sound, it should automatically switch to the correct length video that you need. But that's asking too much, isn't it? So, we're just gonna resume. I have no idea what number outfit we're on. All I know is we need to make 21 outfits here total. So let's get into it. Before anybody else says it, yes, I know these jeans are a little bit too small, but we're working on it, y'all. I'm eight months postpartum. What do you expect? Anyway, the bodysuit already adds a new element of chic, Parisian, minimalist. We've got my favorite pouch of all time, the loafers. Am I Audrey Hepburn? <laughs> okay, anyway, you get the vibe the medium jeans, the black turtleneck, the loafs, the bag to end all be all bags. On to the next one. Cat suit, but like super stretchy. Yeah, so we got the black boots, which look pretty cool. We've got the big, heavy, clunky sweater coat. We've got this bag which just gives it that, just the touch of that girl vibes. Yeah, this is good. Honestly, I have a couple trips coming up and I can see myself flying in this because it's cozy, it's soft, it's warm, it's comfy. Checks all my boxes. Next. Okay, this is the video in which I refuse to steam this shirt. So if we're Anybody might say anything. Yes, I know it looks like crap. I know, I just don't care. So we layered it over the bodysuit, did a little crisscross tuck, rolled it up. We'll pop a leopard. Again, little repeat, boots on the bottom. Yeah, feeling kind of edgy, punky, cool, fun. Yeah, here we go. On to the next one. Another like cool casual one, right? We've got these beauties again. And you know, take it or leave it. You can be a fan of mixing black and brown. You could hate it. I'm a fan. I love this. I think this looks clean. I've got a cashmere sweater just worn loosely over the jumpsuit. I've got these cuties. It's like easy breezy. This is day tonight. Like this. You could wear this to work and just be like, oh, I'm just gonna throw these boots on and go to happy hour. Not like I do that, especially not anymore. 
but it could, it could. So yeah, here's this one, on to the next. I'm already eating more of these out of this bodysuit jumpsuit thing than I am than I did out of the leather jacket. So that's cool. Um, made the right choice. I literally just layered this white shirt over it and then added this bougie sweater layer because why not? It's a little chilly. Got a little eh. So I just did like one button. I think it'd be also cute. Just worn open like this just cool and then i've got the doc martens on the feet easy comfy love it on to the next one got another monochromatic look because why not and another one with these but this time what i did was you can't really tell because the lighting but i have the bodysuit with the cashmere over it for layers got the black jeans Supporting my little mom pooch. We've got the Lauren Manoogian, and we've got that bag. Say, right there. Yeah, so good. And the Doc Martens. I'm pleased. So it's outfit number 20. Got one more to go. And then we made 21 outfits out of this small rack of clothing. And I didn't even max it out because I really only used the red shirt for one look because I was too lazy to stain the damn thing, but whatever. You win some, you lose some. Not a big deal. So, on to the, on to the last one. I thought about putting another layer over this, but I've already done all the other variations where it would just feel like it would look the same. So, instead, we did it with just a bodysuit underneath the slip dress for kind of more of a cool girl look. Honestly, all of you are gonna add tights underneath. I just can't find my tights, so I need to buy a pair of black tights, basically. I'll probably get those cool fleece ones that have like the nude color underneath it, so it looks like you're seeing your legs, but you're actually just seeing a layer of fleece for warmth, but I think it's pretty cute. Love the contrast, love the leopard, love the boots. This is cute. This is doing it for me. All right. Well, if you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative and hopefully inspiring so that you feel like you can go into your own wardrobe and pick out a capsule collection with things that you already own. That's the goal. If you do, let me know what you do. Let me know what you make. Tag me in your outfits. I want to see how you style it. Um, give me a follow on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And otherwise... I'm going to try to make another video next week. Wish me luck.